This is Painting with Mike. I'm your host, Mike. I hope you're doing good and feeling good in this world. I think we'll make a absolutely wonderful painting today. Let me go ahead and run the colors, explain what I got going on here. Got an 18 by 24 inch canvas, white canvas. I went ahead and applied a white medium to it. I used the uh, Bob Ross liquid white. I applied a very, very thin amount on the entire canvas, and so it's it's ready to rock and roll. And uh, if you have your two inch brush, let's go ahead and make a wonderful scene. Go ahead and start out by tapping into, into this blue here. And just remember to, remember to feel good, feel proud. We'll go ahead and put it up there. And hopefully it will be absolutely beautiful and stunning. But most of all, we'll just have some fun. And that's what it's about, just getting that stress out and putting it right here and forgetting that all your problems in the world and just focusing on making something something absolutely wonderful. And so go ahead and start right here. So I'm using that French Ultramarine, ultramarine. and this is it's just a beautiful, beautiful color. Beautiful, beautiful color, okay? So we'll come right here. And I'm just doing a quick little X's. I mean, nothing, nothing too special. Just tap in, tap in your color. Okay. And just tap in your color. There we go. I always love putting it in the sky. It's always fun. It is by far the easiest to do. All you do is go like this. Just, just like that, okay? And it's continuing to mix with the white medium, and so it blends for you naturally, as you can see. And it blends for you, there you go. And I'm gonna go ahead and, remember with, with this style of painting, a little at a time, always remember that, a little at a time, okay? I want this a little bit darker. Just like so. Now I want to darken up this corner here. There we go. And I'll just, just go like this to kind of clean the brush. Come right here, I'll start in my white spot, like so, and I'm just gonna just blend out the whatever little streaks are there. So I'm just going on like the crisscross like this, but just real, real soft, real soft, real gentle, okay? And it just smooths everything out for you. There we go. Let's just grab a one inch brush. Let's grab a nice little one inch brush. I'm gonna go into some white here. I'm just gonna get on both sides here. Doesn't really matter. Really just gonna kind of really use the corner of the brush. Okay. And let's start right here. And I'm just gonna I'm just go like this. There we go. Let me grab some more. And we'll come right in here. Let's grab a little bit more and maybe we'll have it come up like so, come down, and we'll just do something, maybe something like so, and grab a two inch brush and I'll just come in here and just kind of on the bottoms, you want to leave the tops alone and just kind of Blend a little bit here and there. And same thing here. And you can go ahead and, if you like, you can 
fluff it up. There we go. Got a couple of hairs there. But yeah, go ahead and just fluff it like so. Either direction, doesn't really matter. And then just, there we go. And let's go ahead and make a, a nice dark, dark black color. So I got some crimson, crimson, my pink stuff, and I got some phthalo green. And we want, I'm gonna leave just a little bit here, but we want pretty much an equal, equal amount of this stuff right here, okay? Go like that, just, there we go. And I'll just put it right here. All right, so we're gonna mix this up. I got a nice pile up because we're gonna need it. Just keep scooping, scooping. And you want this very, very thorough, very thorough. There we go, grab a little bit more. See, it's not quite there. Still got a little bit of that right in there. So I'm gonna mix it up again. There we go. Nice and flat. Whoop. Scrape my, uh, scrape my canvas there. There. One second here. All right. So you're gonna grab yourself a nice roll. Then we're gonna come up here and we'll make ourselves a, I guess a nice, nice mountain. We'll come up. Just like so. Just push, push that right in there, okay? And maybe we'll do something like so. Like I said, just push that paint right, right up in there. Scrape off the excess. And maybe something like so. something something like that a strong 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 mountain just trying to get there we go scrape that scrape that stuff off there wipe that off Just grab a just grab a two inch brush and come in and push it on down. There we go. All right, let me go ahead and put this down. And let's go ahead into our brown mixture right here. This would be our Van Dyke Brown. Same thing, just right down. Grab yourself a roll. And we're gonna come in and just start putting some of this brown in here, okay? It's very, very dark with the black, but it's there. And that's what we're, what we're looking for. Here. Remember, when you do this, you're, you're just touching and very lightly, okay? 
I remember Bob Ross always said it's a whisper, but to be honest with you, I never never really got that. A whisper? Hey, 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 just slowly float. I mean, it does, doesn't make sense. It's more like skipping a rock on a pond. That's what you're doing, okay? You're basically, you're skipping a rock on a pond, and when you're do, using this knife, do a mountain. So you're just skipping it, skipping it, skipping it. And it just will do all the breaking and everything for you, okay? I don't know if you can pick up any of this mountain uh, the brown that I'm using, but it's it's definitely there. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and just clean out real quick, and I'm gonna take some of this white, and I'll put it. I'll just put it right there, and I'm gonna add some of this little bit of this brown. Okay, and a little bit of the red, and a touch of the yellow. Maybe a little bit more brown, something like so. And we'll come in and start, start the highlight. Here we go. And just like that, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and, I'll use the small side of the knife, so. Let me clean that real quick so you can see it. Just grab myself a nice little roll. Nice little roll on the small side of the knife. And I'll come in and start doing the same thing, okay? Just like that. And find another spot. Right there. And I'll come in. Same thing here. And just have fun. Just have fun. So all I'm doing, I'm just very softly touching. And when you hear that that sound, that just means I ran out of paint. Okay. And that's all. And I'll come over here. I'll do something like so. here and just keep putting in a little bit of texture here there here there small amounts of using the small side you can use the big side whatever you like Whatever you like, there we go. Something like that. Just feel good, feel proud. You can do this. Just takes a little bit. You just gotta barely, barely touch and just put skip, 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 skip along. Clean the knife a little bit. I'm gonna go into, into some of the white. Get some of the, a little bit of that red. Oop, we got a little bit of that green in there. Just mix that in. Add some of that yellow. Gonna add some of that blue. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Now come in and start. Not giving me it's a blue enough a little bit more of a shadow nope so you don't have the shadow that i'm looking for so we'll add a touch of the dark color there all right and let's see what we got Maybe a little bit more blue. Just 
so still very, very light, but we'll go back, no worries. And now I'm just going back in the opposite direction. down like so get yourself a nice roll and we'll come in and we'll start putting in some some snow very very softly there you go Same over here. Same thing. Same thing. Just like that. Maybe something up here. Maybe a little, a little something like so. Same thing over here. Sit all day doing melons. I mean, I just love the textures of it. A lot of a lot of fun, man. When you can figure out how to do it. There we go. See, a little, a little dark right here. back with some of the white color. There we go. Put that little snow drift right there. And I'll take uh I'm gonna take scoop up some of this and just go into some of the blue. So, we'll come in. And just put a little, a little bit of blue here or there. Just a little bit of shadow. Some ice. something here like so let me just clean this real quick let me grab a little just a little detail brush just a little detail around here I'm just gonna go into some white Put some extra little, extra little cracks. I'm just grabbing little chunks. And they're coming in. Grab a little bit more, maybe right here. 
Okay, the year is up. And I keep wiping it off because I keep getting it's a lot of a lot of extra uh, paint on there, so you got to be careful. But I'm just grabbing just grabbing a chunk, a chunk of it here, like a chunk sitting on top. That's a little too much, but just a chunk. And you just come in. You can put all types of little stuff. There we go. It's a nice little chunk I could play with. There we go. Gives you some a little extra texture. So you don't have to use a knife all the time if you don't want to. And there's stuff you can do. There's stuff you can do. Here we go. Something like so. One little more, one more spot. It's right there. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down for just a second. And grab a, grab a two inch. And I'm just gonna kind of blend this place out a little bit. There we go, just like that, just like that. Makes it nice and misty. All right, we went ahead and put a beautiful mountain scene in the background. Let's go ahead and fill in the bottom half of the, of the canvas. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a Number four, number four filbert brush. This is a small, small, small hair brush, as you can see. I'm gonna go right into our dark pile that we made. Okay, and I'm just gonna come in and, I guess I'm just gonna come in and start putting, putting some lines in, just like this. Let's go ahead and put yourself a nice little, nice little line. And then you can come in you can come in and just start putting some, some little trees like so, okay? You just come in and just tap. And it don't have to be perfect either, just, just something there, okay? Let's go ahead and just maybe a little bit, a little bit darker there. And I'm just tapping, tapping, moving the brush around, getting little, just little different, different angles like so. Okay. There we go, something like so. I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe this, wipe this down and I'll grab a little bit of this white and I'm just gonna come in and. Just like that. And I'll go ahead and do up another one. Maybe you can have one. Let's maybe put one over here. Something like that. And say that just come in. It don't have to be perfect. You just want some indication of something there. There we go. There we go, something like that. There we go. And I'll wipe 
this off. Just come in and grab a little bit of white. There we go. And same thing here. There we go. Just like that. And I'll come in and I'll come in just like these, something like this. And same thing. And all I'm doing, as you can see, I'm just touching, just touching. Grab some more. There we go. And then very, very softly. There we go, very softly. Creates its own little shadows. Here we go. Same thing here. And a little bit, a little bit bigger now. Same thing here. Just keep working the line. Just keep working that line. It don't have to be perfect. It's too far, too far in the distance. There we go. I'm just gonna wipe this off real quick and grab this brush. And I just want to there we go. There we go. Okay, beautiful two inch brush, man. Makes life a lot easier. All right, let me go ahead and put this down. Give it a quick little clean. Remember, if you're painting, at least with me when I paint, if I'm gonna, gonna have to clean it, clean the brush, I do it, or excuse me, I use the paint thinner while I'm doing the painting. So afterwards, I do have brush cleaner, uh, brush conditioner for my brushes, but when I'm, when I'm painting, it's gotta be that, it's gotta be that paint there. I, that, that's just my method. I'm so used to doing like the Bob Ross thing. So just how it is for me. So I'm gonna go right back and 
into this dark pile here. I went ahead and grabbed a small fan brush. This would be a number three. And we're gonna just continue to do this, okay? Now um, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing maybe something like this. Okay. And then same thing, except you're gonna use, I'm just gonna use the corner of the brush. some stuff going. There we go. And then I can go, I can also go like that and change some stuff up here and then I'll go right back down. There we go. And now I'm just, just gonna touch a little bit. Get another line going. And same thing. Just using the corner of the brush. Go ahead and wipe off a little bit. Grab a little bit, a little bit of white. And same thing. And since I forgot to do it right here, we'll just do just a little, little rubbing in there. Get some kind of shadow. And there we go. way like that and we'll have one more over this way and then same thing and same thing here off, grab some, a little bit of white, There we go. Okay. And with that fan brush, I'm going to go into here. And I think we'll... Let's just go ahead and do something like so. We'll put it in some... Some nice trees. There we go. And all I'm doing, just like that, just like that. Make sure you chisel, make sure you chisel your brush so you can get some nice sharp spots and then just come in. Right here, I'm having a little bit of an issue. I'm just gonna grab a, a drop, a drop of paint thinner. And it should make it a little bit, a little bit darker. And I'll do 
something like so. Just make a little corrections here there just to try to give it a little bit more character i guess and right here some dark in front of there. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and use this with some white, a two inch. some some of my white and it's going to come in and put some textures in just like so and come in right here right here man just a little at a time because it's one of those things there we go there we go we go ahead and just scrape in a nice little tree trunk and you can do a couple little scrapes here or there take my uh, take my fan brush it's got a 
whole bunch of bunch of paint on it. Well, let's go ahead and make a maybe a nice big old pine tree. And yeah, let's do it right here. And you're just gonna push right into it. Push right into it. Put that guy right there. Get a little bit darker right here. There we go, get all that paint. Something like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab a different fan brush. And I'm going to go ahead and just add some white, both sides of it. And just come right down the side. Just like that. And then just crunch it over like so. brushes. I'm going to grab myself my liner brush into some of my paint there. I'm going to go into, I'll just go right into this color since it's right here. And yeah, we'll come in and put a nice little branch or two. That. And maybe we'll have this branch come out. Just like so. A couple little So, and a couple little there we go. That was a little too thick. Let's thin that out. Let's see if this will be a little bit better. There we go. Let's go over here. Last little finishes here. Maybe we'll have a, we'll just do a little, just for fun. Just for fun, just something there. Maybe we'll we'll and this is where I'm probably gonna have to stop soon because I can get overbearing with this and starts getting addictive. And then you start putting things in and you don't wanna put things. Okay, let me go ahead and Clean that off. I'm just gonna grab my palette knife real quick, and I just wanna just wanna clean that up. Just seeing if I can find one last thing to do, but I think we're pretty much good here. Let's go ahead and just do that. Okay, 
I go ahead and clean this guy and grab that liner brush. Go into, let's go into my black right here. And go ahead and sign it. Remember just to thin your paint out. We'll slide right on over this. Well, we completed a beautiful mountain landscape, nice and cold and wintry. And if you have viewed this entire time and got to this point, I definitely want to say thank you. And if you'd like, please support the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I want to thank you so much for painting with Mike, and please take care. Bye-bye.